It was a day like no other where 60,000 Kenyans at the Kasarani Stadium and millions watching at home and across the world saw a change of guard. Where former President Uhuru Kenyatta handed over power to President William Ruto and his deputy Rigadiga Shagua. Despite the niceties showed during the ceremony, especially by the judiciary during the swearing-in and the once four turned friends between Uhuru and President Ruto, politics took center stage at the swearing-in ceremony nonetheless. I want to tell the people of Kenya that finally you are free. Kenya is now a democratic country. You don't have to look back when you do something. All Kenyans are free to associate whoever they want. It became a crime in this country to be afraid of William Ruto. It is only that it was not put in the penal code. Deputy President Riga de Gashagwa had some words for the outgoing government that was led by Uhuru. Our new president and his team have a difficult task ahead. The truth of the matter is that we have inherited a dilapidated economy that is facing almost an economic shutdown. We have a 10 trillion public debt. 6 million Kenyans have no employment. 14 million Kenyans are in CRB. We have a demoralized public service. It is your prayers that will help our president to put up a team and start work from day one. Meanwhile, former President Uhuru was forced to sit and listen to the DP's strong words aimed at his administration that ran the country for the last 10 years. Where goods belonging to the people of Kenya will never again be touched by Ovazila's public servants. Where again poor people will never again be evicted in brutal evictions by state agencies. And I say, freedom is here. President William Ruto was also not left behind. And today, I want to thank God because a village boy has become the president of Kenya. In a thinly veiled attack on ex-president Uhuru, Ruto said that he is seeking to give the independent institutions like the IBC and the judiciary ample space to carry out their mandate and not to intimidate them. Ladies and gentlemen, to single out the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission for special commendation for the courage to do the right thing under exceptionally challenging circumstances. Going forward, we will support the IEBC's institutional capacity so as to expand the deployment of technology to cover all elections from those of MCA to those of the president. Moreover, Ruto said that in the past administration, men and women in blue have been used for political gain. He says that this will be a thing of the past. I am aware that our uniformed services effectively resisted concerted attempts to foment unrest and subvert the will of the people. Financial independence of the police will give impetus to the fight against corruption and end the political weaponization of the criminal justice system, an undertaking I made to the people of Kenya. When all is said and done, the Kenya Kwanzaa government has a humongous task of delivering promises they made to the 50 million Kenyans.